like I said a couple of videos ago, I have a job at the movie theater. I love my job, but working at the theater, you learn a few things. So from the perspective of a movie theater employee, here is how to behave at the movie theater 101. Don't complain about the prices. Believe it or not, I did not set the price specifically to ruin your day. Fun fact, most movie theaters do not make any money from box office sales. Most of your money goes back to the production company that made the movie. That's also why concessions are so expensive because it's really the only way we can make money. Working at a movie theater is hard. Working at a movie theater is even harder when a Marvel, Star Wars, or Disney animated movie comes out. In most movie theaters, employees don't have a lot of time to clean theaters, and there's not really a lot of leeway for bigger or smaller theaters. I'm amazed that this is something I have to tell people because I think it's just common sense. Throw away your trash! I'm not asking you to pick up every piece of popcorn, but when I have five minutes to clean a theater and four of those minutes go into picking up drinks and popcorns and nacho trays that people just decided they could leave on their seats, I don't have a lot of time to do the actual cleaning. Not exaggerating some of the worst days of my life when I had to clean up theaters for Black Panther, Infinity War, and Last Jedi. I feel like this one is also common sense. In fact, I feel like most of the items on this list are common sense. I've learned a lot of people apparently don't have common sense. So, <clears throat> don't call the movie theater to ask for movie times. We live in a time where smartphones are more accessible and more common than other phones. So when a person calls to a theater and asks what time a movie is showing, or if the new Dwayne The Rock Johnson movie is out, I assume nine times out of 10 that they're on a smartphone. Smartphones have access to the internet. I promise I'm not a jerk. It's just when you have to deal with these things on top of, of, of so many other things and just, it wears you down. And also in my theater, we have this thing called movie phone where if you call the theater, you can press one or something and it will automatically tell you what movies are showing and their times. So not only did this person just not search the internet, they also ignored the instructions that could have been given to them and where an automated voice could have told them the exact same information and I wouldn't have had to get away from the very long line of people that we've had to tell them. Don't use your phone in a theater or just turn the brightness down or sit in the back. Really, there's, there's a lot of options if you really want to use your phone. Now, this is especially a courtesy towards movie theater employees. Don't talk loudly about the movie you just watched as soon as you came out of it. I have had Black Panther, Infinity War, Solo, Last Jedi, and Ant-Man all spoiled for me before I even saw the movie because of customers loudly spoiling the movie and discussing in detail everything that happened in the lobby right after they saw it. Just go outside, please, please go outside or go in your car and you can talk about the movie. It's so much fun to talk about movies, but there are other people in this building who have not seen the movie and you are just really, really, really loudly spoiling it for everybody, which is no fun. Now, I talked a lot about common sense in this video, but I feel like this one just takes the cake. Don't drink the popcorn butter. The year 2017, Black Panther was just released. The movie theater is full, filled with excited employees and excited customers ready to see this brilliant new Marvel film. A family comes up to my concessions register, consisting of a middle-aged woman, her husband, and her two kids. They order a popcorn, they order some drinks, whatever. The lady asks for a courtesy cup. Now at my theater, we're not allowed to give out extra bags or anything, cause like, that's just how we do it. But we can give out like little six ounce courtesy cups for like water or sharing popcorn, you know, just stuff like that. I think nothing of it. I give the lady the courtesy cup and they're on their way. Now at my theater, you can do the buttering yourself. You can put as much or as little butter on there as you want. It's all in your hands. But the downside of this is that sometimes people just, just make a mess. Just an 
absolute mess of the buttering station. This is one of those times. So I have left my register and I am the heroic person of the concession staff to go clean the buttering station. So as I'm cleaning the butter station, the same lady comes up with her courtesy cup and to the butter station. I don't think too much of it. Sometimes people like putting butter in a cup and then they kind of like pour it on their popcorn as they eat it, you know, kind of spread out the butter. The lady fills up the whole courtesy cup with popcorn butter. This is when I have to put up a little warning. If you are eating or have recently eaten or you have a weak stomach, maybe you don't want to watch the rest of this video right now. Wait a few hours, then finish it. The lady has filled up her cup with popcorn butter. I'm standing there going, yeah, you go lady. You butter your popcorn and it's gonna be so delicious and you're gonna life hack your way out of this popcorn. She stands there and she drinks it. She drinks the entire cup of popcorn butter. Ah! Now it's no secret that popcorn butter is not the best for you. It's not poisonous, it's not deadly, but it's not the healthiest thing. So I am staring at this lady, just gobsmacked at what I've just witnessed. She just walks away, joins her family back in the theater. So I'm a little shaken and very confused. And so I just finish cleaning the butter station and I head back to my register. And then one of the managers asks me to go check the women's bathrooms because we have no female ushers. So I say, yes, absolutely. So I walk into one of the ladies' bathroom and I, I just hear retching. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, someone is like just, just, just spewing their guts into this toilet. Oh my goodness. I, I sweep the bathroom, I, I clean it, trying to kind of avoid the sound, but I feel really bad for this person in this stall. And so I kind of knock on their door and I'm like, hey. are you okay in there? No, I'm fine. <laughs> Can I make you like water or something? Yeah. So I'm like, kind of power walking. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna help this, I'm gonna help this poor girl, lady, woman, and I'm gonna be the hero and I'm gonna save the day. So I speed walk back to the bathroom and I get there and this time the retching is, is worse. It's, it's louder, it's more just. <laughs> heartier vomit. So I'm power walking back to the bathroom stall and I knock on the door. Hey, I brought your water. Guess who it is. I bet you can't guess who it is. Guess who it was. Get guess, get guess who it was. The butter. So I gave her the water, kind of feeling bad, but also kind of feeling like, what did you expect to happen? So I went to my managers to tell them what happened, kind of to have a laugh at it, but also kind of to let them know. And I just had a lot of questions. Why? What was she expecting to happen? Why? So several hours pass and my manager and I have kind of like taken turns and like half hour intervals to go check on this lady. Her hearty vomits have turned into just projectile vomiting into a toilet. Like, it's bad. We have to close off the bathroom so that nobody else goes in there. We keep asking her if she wants us to call 911, if we can take her to the hospital, and she keeps saying, no, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. And we're like, no, you're really not, but we can't call the ambulance unless you want us to. After several hours, the lady is projectile vomiting, and then she starts vomiting up blood, and then she lets us call that up. My shift was over, so I wasn't one of the unlucky few who was left to clean up the bathroom. Realistically, I don't think it was just the butter that set her off. Like, she was vomiting really bad. But, you know, at the end of the day, don't drink the popcorn butter. So there you guys go. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you laughed a little bit. Uh, I hope you don't think I'm a massive jerk now. Just a reminder, you still have one week to enter my giveaway. Go, run, click the link in the description. Enter, win free stuff. So, Thanks so much for watching. Do what makes you happy. Oh.
I'll see you in the next video. Bye.